A new expansion means a new level cap. A new level cap means I get to make yet another video on how to level up. So let's talk about leveling in Beyond Light and Season 12. The soft cap for Beyond Light is 1200. This means that you can get gear up to 1200 power by doing literally anything in the game. Blue gear, random engrams, you name it. In fact, until you hit 1200 base power, the game will not show you certain powerful and pinnacle reward sites. However, if you want to optimize your leveling, I would recommend solely leveling up to 1200 via non-powerful and pinnacle rewards, because after 1200, leveling up gets more difficult. You want to hit 1200 base before doing any reward sites that say they offer powerful or pinnacle rewards, if possible. The power cap is 1250 and the pinnacle cap is 1260. From 1200 to 1250, for the most part, you will level up via powerful and pinnacle rewards. From 1250 to 1260, the only way to level up is from pinnacle rewards. Now, when you hit 1200, progress is going to slow down because, again, only powerfuls and pinnacles will reliably level you up. There are a bunch of powerful and pinnacle reward sites in the game, but doing them too early will cause you to miss out on those 1200 plus gains. As for when to do a powerful versus a pinnacle, you should try to do a pinnacle when your gear level is pretty even. For example, if you have 1202 and 1203 gear in every single slot, a pinnacle will give you a guaranteed big boost of power in a random slot, whatever you get. If you have a lot of variance in your gear, then doing a pinnacle is not recommended. If your gear ranges from 1202 to 1207 and you hit a pinnacle in the 1207 slot, the pinnacle might not even be an upgrade at all. This is when you should try to do a technique we'll talk about in a moment, or just look for another powerful reward site and hope you get what you need. Powerful reward sites include 8 bounties completed for Strikes, Crucible Gambit, Gunsmith, and Varix when eventually unlocked, the Glory PvP Playlist, Weekly Clan Engrams, Nightfall Progress, Prime Engrams, and 3 and 5 win rewards on a Trials card. Pinnacle reward sites include 3 Strikes with the proper Elemental subclass on, 3 Crucible matches, 3 Gambit matches, Nightfall 100k score, the Clan XP Engram is a powerful tier 2 technically, the Deepstone Crypt when it comes out, the raid, and 7 wins and flawless on a Trials card. When Season 12 unlocks, it is likely that more reward sites will open up. I will add those to the description of this video when they open. It is also possible that more sites will open up on Europa. Those will also be added if and when the time comes. When it comes to Prime Engrams, you should try to decode them right away since their power is locked the moment they drop. For the most part, you should do all of your powerful reward sites on one character before switching over to the next. You will then transfer your highest level weapons to your next character, grind up until you're all done, and then repeat on the third character. For those leveling for the day one raid race, you can actually start Beyond Light with the character you want to bring into the raid in week one, and then end on it in week two. So for me, that means I would start with my Titan, then do my Warlock, then do my Hunter, and then next reset, week two, I would do my Hunter, then Warlock, then Titan, giving my Titan the best chance to get levels from transferring weapons over. When it comes to grinding experience, as usual, bounties are going to be the play, especially the repeatable ones. Pick up as many as you can get, do them, and turn them in, preferably in a fire team if you have the XP boost from the season pass. Power from your artifact will not play a factor in the first 24 hours of the new raid. However, getting to later levels in the season pass will give you access to new high stat roll armor, which could prove beneficial in the early parts of the expansion for you hardcore players out there. Now, if you've been an active player, this should all seem very familiar. It's been basically the same for the past couple of years now. However, Bungie did make some changes that will slow things down a little bit, namely tower leveling. To understand how that worked, I will explain the desperately in need of a new name, blueing up technique to leveling. 
When you hit the soft cap of 1200, blues will stop providing power for you and will instead drop at minus three to zero power compared to your current highest possible power level. However, this means that you could potentially come across blue items that are higher level than what you might have in a certain slot. If you're 1203 power, but the spread of your armor power is 1200 to 1205, you can get blues that will drop above 1200. By grinding out blue items in this way, probably through strikes or crucible or something, you can essentially get free levels, boosting your ability to progress without having to use any powerful or pinnacle reward sites. It should be noted that Bungie made a change to core playlists, where every once in a while, you can get a powerful drop, and this does not appear to have a limit. So, technically, you always have a reward site to grind. Season Pass armor will also drop at your highest power, so you can use those armor pieces to fill in gaps as you need to. While this technique can get you a lot of extra levels, it comes at the cost of a lot of extra time spent grinding, and those without that much time to grind probably will not utilize this method too much. This method will only likely be used by people going for the day one raid race, or for people who just really get a kick out of leveling as fast as possible. However, the ability to skip grinding blues by going to the tower to buy items from vendors with tokens is now no longer possible. Bungie has made it so that items that come from vendors purchased with tokens will drop at 20 power levels below your current character's level. So now you actually need to play the game to level up. But you will be able to level second and third characters at the tower a little bit since we're starting at around 1050 to 1060. If you grind your first character to 1200 and trade your guns over to a second character, their overall level might float around 1100, which means you could get some 1080 to 1090 gear for free from the tower to jumpstart your leveling, pulling items from vendors until you can't get any more upgrades. You may be able to get as high as 1150, even 1175 in this way if you have tokens. However, once you hit 1200 on all of your characters, turning in tokens for levels at the tower just isn't really possible. And that about wraps up leveling in Beyond Light and Season 12. If there are any updates, they will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.